everyone, back with another Workout Wednesday, but today we're going to do something a bit different again. So we're going to exercise, we're going to get people moving, but we're just going to do it in a fun way. So what I've decided to do today is to teach you how to juggle. I only learned how to juggle last year. It was something I thought I could never do until someone showed me how to do it. And it's one of the most satisfying feelings in the world. And it's actually quite therapeutic because it makes you just think about juggling. So if you're ever stressed or whatever, it's a great tool to wake up your brain and, and help you refocus yourself, okay? So what I'm gonna juggle with is three oranges. So if you have apples in the house, um, as, as, as long as you don't drop them, preferably juggling balls if you have them, but three objects, it's basically the same size um, that you can throw and catch, okay? So I may get in a bit of trouble if I, if I drop these. I might have to eat them all, but sure, they're good for you anyway, okay? So um, to start off, we're gonna start with two and then just move everything. We're gonna start with two, and all you have to do is throw one up, like in an X shape, so you throw, throw, catch, catch, okay? So I'll come a wee bit closer, so it's throw, throw, catch, catch, so throw, throw, catch, catch, throw, throw, catch, catch, throw, throw, catch, catch, throw, throw, catch, catch, okay? So, we're working out, we're moving, um, if you do this for a long time, you're moving your arms, you're getting your energy levels up, you can, you can add the circuits that we've done the weeks before, but this is just a bit of fun and it's good for your, good for your mind. So, throw, throw, catch, catch, throw, throw, catch, catch. Okay, so keep practicing that. I've done that for, I don't know, about half an hour and then I introduced the third one. Okay, so the secret to this is the hand you start with has to have two in it. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go throw, throw, throw and catch, okay? So it's the same rhythm, only there's another one in. So try not to focus on the third one. Just keep in the, doing the throw, throw, catch, catch, throw, throw, catch, catch, okay? So here we go. I'll, I may drop these, it doesn't matter. I'll pick them up and I'll try again, okay? So. Hey, okay, so. Throw, throw, catch, catch, <laughs> I can't even keep up, okay? If you get really good, when you start off, you'll find that you're moving around the room. When you get pretty good at it, you'll, you should be able to stand in the one spot and juggle, okay? So this week, we're not doing press-ups, we're not doing squats, we're not doing wrestlers kick-throughs, we're just juggling, we're moving, we're getting our energy levels up, and there's not a more satisfying feeling, I promise, than learning how to juggle. It might take you one day, it may take you two days. It may take you the next week's workout Wednesday to work at it. But I promise you, if you follow that wee routine, you'll definitely improve. Even if you just get good at the throw, throw, catch, catch, that's absolutely fine, okay? So um, don't forget to do some sort of exercise. Walk, run, jog, whatever you want. Skip things that we've done over the last couple of weeks. But this week, something a wee bit different to show you that exercise is all about moving and having a bit of fun. So good luck with that. If you work it out, we would love, I mean, we would love for you to post a video on. I would love to see someone who couldn't juggle, who would then post their video on and encourage their friends to do so. And just share it. It would be great. And it would be something that I'd love to see. And I'm sure all the youth workers in your area would love to see as well. But um, without further ado, so stay fit, stay healthy, stay connected, learn to juggle.